Hey, welcome if you're new here. My name is Kara. I live in Bentonville, Arkansas from New York City and this is a few days in my life. Or maybe one day, or maybe a week. I don't know yet, but we'll see. Good afternoon, happy Saturday. It is January 29th. I just finished chatting with Jason Jones. So cool, so easy to speak with. His murals are all over town. Um, the Kraken one, not an octopus, I learned. Or is a Kraken an octopus? Let me know. Um, is one of the first that I remember from like 2017, I think he guessed, which is about a year before I first landed in Bentonville. Um, all the way to his cool goldfish turning a corner in Springdale, which actually in his mind was about um, the COVID pandemic and the summer and what felt like turning a corner. So learned a lot, feel way more energized. Um, this morning had my third Spanish class, got the homework done just before, terrible at um, memorizing the tenses, so to build in some studying time, but now there's an hour before the next conversation with Early Riser, who is another muralist um, and painter and artist and actor and director in New York City, so I will probably figure out my macros, my meals for the day, maybe catch up on some Bible reading, maybe call my mom, figure out a different top for this other interview so that it doesn't look like they're exactly back to back. And yeah, I'm excited for that. Um, this weekend, the goal is to get caught up on my thesis work so that that's out of the way but not quite ready to go there yet. Um, I think that's it for now. We'll check in later. Really wanna make these vlogs a thing. Got Brooke on in the background. Um, the Gretchen Brooke reunion this week was long overdue. So exciting. On Long Island, all the best things. I am now dressed for the second interview. Um, I just choose any top that looks remotely different from the last one. So random, floral, fun, button down from J. Crew. Um, lunch was some Rana. Let's see, this is better. Lunch was some Rana um, pesto and Rano tortellini. That tree is gonna come down eventually. Maybe this week. Maybe this is my motivation. Um, the interview setup is the same as from the start. There's this round swivel chair, and I switch it to face that window so that that window gives me that natural light. There's the ring light for when I do the recordings at nighttime. I stack the um, laptop on a pillow and three LSAT exam books that I've never used and a cozy blanket. Um, usually about three quarters of the way through my legs will start to go numb and so there's some fun altering that goes down but we're 14-ish minutes away from the second conversation of the day. Let's do this. Last second, decided to pop the collar. I feel way cooler. Um, yeah, collar popping. All right, update. We have a delayed start, which is no problem. I'm gonna pivot to make some use of this time. So I'm on um, the podcast app and I'm typing in Bible recap. Um, I am a few days behind for the Bible reading plan in a year. So I'm going to see which one I read most recently. I want to say it was Wednesday. Mm. Let's see. It was either Genesis 41 to 42 or 43 to 45. So looks like Genesis, the book that never ends. Lots of chapters. Um, today I'll be reading through Genesis chapter 50. Right now we're at the point of... Um, I know recently Esau and his brother were reunited. No, I will see where we were at. I'm forgetting. The two brothers who fought each other reunited. Oh, we're at the story of Joseph and he's in Egypt and, um, his brothers came and he's like, hasn't told them yet that he is their long lost brother. 
but it's coming. And this is a fun part because I do kind of remember the story, even though I'm, I am definitely proving otherwise. So I just checked and I am on Genesis 43, but basically each year um, is a certain chunk of chapters. Um, I read the chapters and then I listen to this, usually not more than 10 minutes, recap by Tarly Cobble, called the Bible Recap. Um, just helps me to make sure I actually retained any of what I read and to connect some dots, answer some questions. Um, during the first read, it can sometimes be like, wait, why did this happen? What's going on? And helps me to remember what is descriptive of the times versus prescriptive. Um, and kind of like the big picture of what's coming and keeping our eyes on Jesus, even from the Old Testament. So really important asset that I have enjoyed for the past few years. Interviews are done. I am feeling like I'm pretty much in the procrastination mode already. So I'm going to go ahead and have dinner at 4.30 rather than start the work, and then go back to dinner, and then go back to work. Um, I'll also insert a clip of some new candles I got from the Little Candle of Northwest Arkansas run by um, awesome, fabulous social worker friend and her husband. Um, I got the Bentonville Springdale and Ozark Trails scents, and I've had them in my kitchen for the last week, and I can already um, smell them, even without lighting them. They're so beautiful, feel very, like, hotel -y, fresh, slightly floral, and um, I cannot wait. I think that will help with getting the work done, having the candle on, setting the mood, but dinner first is a, a repeat of the pesto, but with some cauliflower gnocchi, so we will head to the kitchen and get going. Okay, I'm completely obsessed with the idea of this. Here is that candle. It's in this beautiful greenish um, jar. It has me thinking about walking over to the Crystal Bridges trails, to riding the Greenway on my bicycle. Um, our local Greenway goes like 36 something miles and you can go back and it's like 60 something. I've only done that once, but um, as it is 57 degrees today, it is getting close to perfect temperature in my book. Ah, I can't wait to use this. Good morning, happy Sunday. Just finished um, those Bible readings that I was planning to do and it ended on such a sweet um, part where Joseph's brothers are coming to him and their father, Jacob or Israel has, has died and the brothers fear that this is when Joseph's going to take retaliation against them because they sold him into slavery, essentially. And um, Joseph says, no, I'm not going to do that. What you intended for evil, God intended for good, and I'm going to take care of you. So on that note, we will start the day, make some breakfast, get ready to zoom into to church, not Zoom, but YouTube Live. Mm -hmm. Campus. We're going to welcome our 930 service at Pebble Hills as well. Thanks for joining us via video. Now we have a lot of people still watching online. We are glad you are tuning in to have church today. Church was awesome. I definitely feel more inspired to get back. I've been so anxious about COVID spreading and being present for work and for school, but I think I have to put my mask on and power through and not be embarrassed about what makes me comfortable. Um, but also not stay stuck in my house. So feeling energized today, I think I'm going to try to lay out a plan to get a little bit of work done, fit in the soul cycle, and also go to this exhibit at Crystal Bridges that's ending, I think tomorrow or today. Um, and maybe I'll get to walk there. I don't know, but I'm excited. Let's see. If I can muster up the courage and build out the schedule to make it happen, I need some pizza because it's the weekend. I got this new pillow for Christmas and I'm finally going to try to take it out of its package and see what it's like. Um, so more to come on this one. All right, so this is cool. There's some zippers on the side. I'm guessing to make it like fluffier and then maybe you close them to make it firmer. Not entirely sure. Um, I don't think the box doesn't say exactly, but we'll figure this out maybe tonight.
All right, I found the little documentation here. It says, meet Marlo. Um, this is the people's pillow and you're our people. It's time to give you hours. We dedicate accountant those hours to research. Um, because we believe a pillow is the last thing that should keep you awake all night. Cool, so unpack your pillow, done. Fluff and let rise, sort of done. Zip to your comfort level, we'll figure that out. Get your best rest. It says that when the zippers are open, it's softer, when they're closed, it's firmer. Um, cool, I feel like I will keep the zippers open then, but I guess it'll be trial and error. Do not machine wash or tumble dry, okay. And Adjustable, cool, supportive, antimicrobial. Good stuff. All right, I like all these little graphic design thingies. So cute. Yeah, the Instagram ad got me. So, I'm excited. I'm dressed, it's happening. We're about to soul cycle. Um, Pretty random outfit, but I am really excited. Next up, I have to choose the ride. Um, gosh, I'm terrible at names, but there's one in particular that's my favorite, and we'll see if he has any new ones. That was so fun. I'm a little bit more red than I was before. That's all the stuff I have to take out for the trash today. But I'm gonna shower quickly, buy my ticket for something like in American Waters, I don't remember the exact name, and then walk over to Crystal Bridges. So see you soon. All right, I am dressed, I'm ready. I'm waiting for my veggie crust Amy's pizza. And I'll eat it and go, but um, jacket is Zadig and Voltaire from my parents for Christmas. Um, leggings are aloe, that like flare one. The top is Land's End, but yeah, almost museum time. Almost at Crystal Bridges. Here's the Children's Enrichment Center, I think. Um, almost there. Weather is stunning. I could definitely do without the coat, but I'll do it for the fashion. <laughs> I'm here outside at Crystal Bridges. It was a beautiful experience. Um, I'm gonna try to limit myself to one exhibit each time just to keep it interesting, something I always look forward to. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll put some footage in of the exhibit itself, but take a look outside right now. Time for a really sweet walk home on the Crystal Bridges Trail through downtown.
wrapped. Um, I did some FaceTime with my family, made some pancakes, got back in my cozy clothes for in the house, lit the Bentonville candle tonight. I'm gonna do some reading, get a little organized for the week. So thanks so much for tuning in. See you next time. Bye. Mm-hmm.